is and you know i was very struck by something that elon musk said to you when you interviewed him for your hugely successful uh, podcast let's take a look i was essentially tricked into uh signing documents uh for one of my older boys xavier uh this is before I had really any understanding of what was going on, and we had COVID going on, and so uh, there was a lot of confusion. Um, and um, you know, I was told, oh, he, you know, Xavier might commit suicide if if he. That didn't. was a that was a lie right from the outset. I lost my son essentially. Uh, so you know, they uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I. All right. I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, killed by the woke mind virus. I mean, I found it was a startling thing to, to watch that and to hear him say that. And we've watched that kind of human tragedy of his family play out in public because this boy that he had, this son, now identifies in a different way and is very hostile towards him and says so on social media and so on. But what did you feel when, when Elon Musk, you know, the, Right now, the richest, most successful, and in many ways, most entrepreneurial guy in the world, somebody who, who is really trying to save the world from itself in many ways through Tesla, through SpaceX, through Neuralink, all these extraordinary things. Um, there he was, just gripped in his own human crisis with his own family because of a mindset which has wrestled his child away from him. Well... That shows you how pervasive the problem is, especially with regards to our current misconceptions of what constitutes identity. And even someone like Elon Musk has a family that falls prey to it. And, um, you know, you said at the beginning of this interview that I tend to say things that are, let's say, incendiary. So I might as well do that right now. I think that every single medical professional and psychological professional who has been, um, who's played a role in facilitating the trans butchery of minor children should be put in prison for the rest of their lives for crimes against humanity. It is the worst medical and certainly psychological scandal that I've ever seen in my entire life. And the only things that I've seen that rival, rival it are the medical experiments that were conducted by the Nazis and the Japanese in the uh, running up to World War II. It's absolutely 100% unforgivable. And that lie that he told Elon Musk, would you rather have a live, a live trans child or a dead child? Mm. There's never been a single bit of evidence to suggest that, that that has no grounding whatsoever in empirical fact. It's an absolute bloody lie. It's pathological beyond belief. We know in the United States, for example, that at least 8,000 young women have been subjected to double mastectomies, mm. minors, and that's that's the documentation on the on the insured medical procedure side. So there's a lot more than that. And I also know that puberty blocking drugs are available outside the medical community in the black and gray market at a much higher rate than is occurring within the medical space. And that the fact of this trans epidemic, which is exactly what it is, it's a psychological epidemic, and the liars say, those children are all now free to show their true identity, which is another complete bloody lie. All of that's, uh, it's so unacceptable. It was so sad to hear Musk walk through that. I mean, there's a world of grief behind that story, and there's plenty of stories like it. I can't believe as well, I mean, this is one of the things that I hold seriously against the Democrats in the United States, let's say, the Liberals in Canada and the Labour Party in the UK, is that if you people are behind this identity politics and you think that it's a good idea to free up young women in particular to find their true identities as men, there is something seriously sick about you. It's inexcusable. It's absolutely inexcusable. It is. There is no evidence whatsoever for any of those gender transformation identity claims, as the CAS report clearly indicated. So, you know, the UK has walked back a little bit, but not the US and not Canada. Mm -hmm. And so it's really, Jesus, Pierce, if you, the more you know about that surgery, the more it will, like, it'll, it'll curdle your spine. It's experimental, me experimental medicine conducted by butchering sadists at its absolute worst. What they do to people to transform them into, what would you say, 
malfunctioning pseudo members of the opposite sex is it's far beyond brutal. And I would like to also point out clinically that there's been evidence for a very long time that sadists are overrepresented in the in the profession of surgery. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is think for about 15 seconds before you can figure out why that might be. So yeah, it's really, man, as far as moral crimes go, sterilization and mutilation of children, involuntary, because they cannot consent to such mm -hmm. medical procedures. And, and so that's a crime against humanity uh, in in accordance with UN de definitions, and so I just think it's it's to call it reprehensible is to barely scrape the surface. Yeah, and I don't think it'll stop till there are the right length of prison sentences for the people who've been involved in it.